So tell me about your dad. <laughs> Just jump right into it. <laughs> yeah. He grew up in the hills of Kentucky without electricity. He ended up working on the Apollo projects for five years, including the mission where they landed on the moon. He makes things really, really fun. Like when we're cleaning, he makes it into a dance party while we're cleaning. My dad is a firefighter. He's not only a hero to me, but he's like a hero to everybody else. He's a natural entrepreneur. He showed how much grit and determination it takes to create something. My dad is, I think, one of the funniest people I've ever met. I moved to the U.S. from Brazil. I was his first child and I came to him at four years old. He took me as his own and he taught me English. The best memory I have was going out into the backyard and shooting free throws. Whatever I was into, whatever I tried to do, he would always try to teach me. He was born to be a dad, you know? Do you think he knows how much she means to you? Gosh. I honestly can't tell you that. I would hope so. <laughs> it's kind of like an unspoken, unspoken like understanding. I don't think I'd do a great job at telling him. We really moved from handshake to hug just in the past, you know, decade. I tell my dad I love him all the time because dads need to hear I love you just like anybody else does. Would you like to tell him now? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> I just want to say that I love you, and I know I don't tell you enough. You make me proud, and you're my hero. Thank you. That's flattering. <laughs> I'm honored. Thanks. I'm honored. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada por tudo. My dad is a Hager Hall of Fame dad because... Because he's cool and nice and really, really funny. He is my number one cheerleader. He's the hardest working person I know. He gave me the best chance of making it in this world. Dad, you made me want to be just like you.